what up so I just wanted to do this uh, hopefully quick video to to talk to you about what's going on with um my voice my name my pronouns stuff like that okay sorry I'm trying to get that some spot off my face uh, so there's just been a variety of things that have been happening in the last sorry the the air conditioner is in the background making a lot of noise so uh, the past week or two there's been a lot of um, little kind of businessy things like someone did a hit and run parking job on on um, our car and there was this um, flight that I had to take uh, for a job interview that the job interview didn't work out but anyway some flight where I had paid was supposed to get reimbursed and um, some flight got canceled and so I made a second reservation blah 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 anyway I have to call around so there's probably like I don't know several places that I had to call recently like insurance companies um, places to make appointments for my car to get service done then I had to buy new tires so people talking to people about tires um, what else? The UPS people, because my partner had ordered a couple packages and they got lost. Uh, and then this stuff with, um, I don't even know how many times I've called about this stupid flight um, and trying to get reimbursed for that. So like, um, five, at least five places that I have, to call, have, I have had to call recently. Um, and all places where I end up having to give my name. And it's been really awkward. Um, because my, well, I'm just decided to share it in this video, but my name is Erica, and, um, so it's, it's easy when I meet people for, even if I have to say my name, for them to think that I said Eric instead of Erica, um, but all on the phone, I keep having to say Erica, like, my name is Erica, and, um, also, there's been a couple times, like one with the tires and one with some apartment that we were maybe going to look into, but decided not to look into, where I felt really uncomfortable saying that my name was Erica because one they did, had no reason to have my legal name yet at that point and two um, I was only talking to them on the phone at that point and I was just worried about them denying not denying okay with the housing thing um, possibly denying um, possibly there being some sort of discrimination because they didn't know it was up with my gender um, but with the tires was just not wanting to get ripped off and and it just I guess it's awful, but it's better to be a dude when you're buying tires because you um, you might get a better deal because they might assume that you're more knowledgeable. And it's 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 totally messed up. Okay, I'm not even trying to defend it. And yes, if it, it would just be great to just go in there and be like, no, I'm female, and like you deal with it, and you like give me stuff uh, at a good deal no matter what. But you know, feel in a precarious position because of you know, not wanting to spend too much money and just being worried and all that kind of stuff. So, end up, you know, playing by the stupid rules and hoping to get better deals or whatever. So, um, I don't know. It felt kind of weird. I think that's the first time that I've ever purposefully mis not misidentified myself, but even tried out trying to go by another name. Uh, and I can't say that I really liked it. Um, it just felt dirty. And maybe that's just my discomfort with um, being male or being trying to be trying to be viewed as male in a sexist society, an anti-woman society, maybe that's just my discomfort with it and I need to get over it and just realize where I want to be and and you know be okay with that or maybe it's just that I don't like it. So I'm still trying to figure that out and I just thought I'd share that because it, I don't know, it was on my mind. So it's been weird being on the phone, like people are saying sir, 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 like even just now the person that I talked to, they said sir, and then they're like, okay, so for Miss Erica, um, blah, 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 and it just felt, uh, felt rough. Oh, and I called my bank. I called my bank, which is mainly online only bank, it's supposed to have like really great customer service, USAA, if y'all are interested. Um, so I called my bank and they kept saying ma'am to me over and over again because, you know, they ask for your number, or you ask for your identifying number and information before you even get very far in the process. And, and the person on the phone just kept saying, ma'am, and I was like, stop. <laughs> so after I kind of got the business side of things done, I said, listen, I'm transgender, and I um, understand you're just following protocol, but I really don't like being called ma'am 
or being identified as Miss. So is there anything that you can do to make a note in the file to change that? And she didn't know straight off, so she put me on hold and she asked the supervisor and then she came back and she said, well, there's two options that we can do. We can change your gender in the system to male or we can um, make a note in your file that says not to call you male. I went for the latter because I don't want to change my gender. Um, and I kind of wonder if they were going to have some steps that I had to take if I wanted to change my gender in their banking system. Um, so, and it's not just banking, it's insurance. I get car insurance, renter's insurance, I think that's it, and banking through them. Uh, but they made a note, but you know what, another time I called and they called me ma'am, so I don't know. Um, but I felt really awesome after I told them that because I was like, I'm standing up for myself, this is a company that's supposed to provide a service, and I'm just trying to get them to treat me the way that I want to be treated. And I felt really great, like, asking for what I needed. So, just thought I'd share that. I think that's the end of my video. Now you know my name. And that's all. Okay, hi, bye, see ya.